Today we're going to make an infinite text banner inside of Webflow in just a couple of minutes. And we're going to do it in three steps. First we're going to make a banner that's 30,000 pixels wide, and then we're going to add in some text and duplicate it 400 times, and then we're going to make an animation and hope that no one stays on the page long enough to see the end of the banner. Actually, you know what, let's do it a different way. We'll make the banner, we'll duplicate the text a couple of times, and then we'll simply loop the animation so that it looks infinite. So let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to add in a new section for the banner. So we'll drop in a new section, give it a class, and since we don't want the banner to be bound to the edge of the screen like this section is, we're not going to add in a container. Instead we're going to straight away drop in a new div for the banner. So we'll drop that in, let's call it banner, and this is going to be the container for the text. So we'll give it a background color, and also change the color of the text for when that goes in. And so let's straight away drop some text in so we know what it's going to look like. We'll drop in a text block. And we'll just copy this out a couple times. So let's add in some padding to our banner so that that text has some space to breathe. And we can either style the text on the banner element or on the banner text element. So let's do it to the banner text. We'll give it a class. Make the size a little bit bigger. And do the same for the height. Now we want the text to keep going all the way off of the screen. So we're going to give the banner text a set width. We'll give it 3000 pixels. Now if we scroll to the right, we can see that it's overflowing off of that section. And that's so there's plenty of text to show as the banner moves across the screen. Now obviously we don't want it to overflow across the screen, but we're going to fix that later. For now I'm going to go back to my banner, and I'm actually going to overflow this banner a little bit, just so that if I want to tilt the banner, the edges aren't going to show. So if I rotate it right now for a little tilt, kind of shows the corners of that and I'd rather that goes uh, all the way off the screen. So I'm just going to make the width 120 and also pull it back a tiny bit. For now let's take that tilt off and we can add it later on if we want to. Now before we add in our animation I want to make this dummy text a little bit more realistic so I'll quickly change it. And again I'm pasting this plenty of times so the text has plenty of space to move in. And now we can go back and add in our animation. So I'm adding the animation to the text itself, not to the banner. I'm going to go into interactions. I'm going to add a page trigger. And when the page is loaded, it's going to start the animation of the banner moving. First, we'll give it its original position, which is zero across. And that's the initial state. And now we're going to move this banner. So we're adding a new one. And we'll move this across from where it needs to be. And we can click back on the initial state to make sure that it lines up properly. If I need a little bit more, I'm going to write it in. And now that's perfectly lined up to the original state. Now we want to add one more state, which is the move state again, and we're going to move it back to the original position. But this is going to be instant. Now I'm just going to go back to my movement and change the duration to be a little bit slower. Let's try four seconds for now. And now I can save that, loop it and preview it, and now it's infinitely moving across the screen because when it gets to the end of that animation, it snaps straight back to the start. Now that we've done this, we should fix our overflow issue. So we're going to get out of this interaction. We're just going to go into the wrapper, go back to our styling, and change the overflow to be hidden. So now we can't horizontally scroll, and if we preview that, that still looks good. Now if we want to, we can click back on our banner and add any kind of tilt that we want. So we'll add a transformation, we'll go to rotate, and change this to 3 degrees and preview that again, and that's still working fine. And this animation scales great across all screen sizes, just as you would expect. So that's it, a quick infinite text banner inside of Webflow. So let me know if you found this helpful, and if you have any future Webflow tutorial requests, feel free to leave those in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.